Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and today we're talking Rainbow Six Siege and specifically reused weapons in the game. Now, I'm going to start by saying that this video is my opinion, and the way I consider my opinion is that I am a random dude on the internet making free videos, and I can't believe I'm actually doing this as a full time job. So, that's kind of how. Uh, much weight I put behind my opinion on these things. So I'm actually more interested in your opinion in the comments below. Now, reused weapons, of course, is a very touchy subject. About a month ago, I actually made a video on it, but I decided to delete it and not release it because I thought I'd better wait until the actual season comes out because maybe it's just going to be new weapons and we'll be fine. But of course, reuse guns again. So here I am back remaking that video. So let's start with the actual plan for Rainbow Six Siege. It's planned to go for 100 operators. Now of course it released with 20 operators and 8 are released every year which means that in total it should go for 10 years if the current path is 8 operators every single year. So we've got a total of 10 years. We're 4 years in at this point and that means we're not even halfway right now with Siege. And of course, after those 10 years, it's probably going to kick into a CSGO style kind of cruising mode after that. And it'll probably still make Ubisoft an absolute ton of money just continuing that. So getting reused guns at the less than halfway point is definitely not great. But I actually expected this a long time ago. So with Operation Chimera, we got Lion and Finca and they only had one new gun each. And I actually assumed at that point that was what was going to happen with every season following that because I knew they already had a ton of guns. I also got told during the six invitationals in Paris last year by a dev that when it comes to applying skins to the weapons, if they have like a seasonal one that's universal, they actually have to apply that to every single gun individually. Someone actually has to go in, correctly put it in, and then apply it correctly with you know the, all the cosmetics in the right location for that specific gun. So it then looks good. They don't actually have an automated system in place. That was a year ago though. So they were looking into trying to figure out an automated system, but when they were discussing it, they didn't have it. So that's a lot of guns to put those cosmetics in every single season. And of course, it's not just the new guns, it's all the old ones as well. So it's a lot of work. And then of course you got balancing and stuff as well, but I was expecting reused guns a lot earlier than this. So getting reused guns now is not a big deal, but I definitely have a problem with the way they've went about it. Because if they knew this was about to hit, if they were about to hit this wall and have to use reused guns, then I don't like the fact that Burnt Horizon had all new weapons. Because if they had started the year off by saying, right, this season is going to have one new gun each and the rest will be reused for Gridlock and Muzzy, and this will be the same going forward for the new seasons, to at least get year four done with a few new weapons throughout the year instead of just at the beginning. So for instance, we could have had Gridlock with the F90 as our primary, and then reuse guns for the rest. Then we could have had, say, Amaru getting the M249, even though it is Cabotal's LMG, it does have a different magazine, so it's a little bit of variation. So I would, you know, I'd let them off with that. So give that to Amaru and not Gridlock. And I would have given Mozzie the Ronnie, and then I would have actually held the Commando 9 back and given that to Warden. Then we could have given the Super Shotty to like Nuke or something like that. Just to add some actual new weapons into each season. Instead of having new weapons for that first season, then nothing for the next two. And of course, maybe for the next one as well. So yeah, that's the bit that grinds my gears, is that we just suddenly hit that wall without anyone, you know, saying this is why we're doing it. Now, of course, we have had some answers now from the devs saying that it's just simply there's so many guns in the game. But it's like, if they had given us that at the last season and said, right, guys, it's going to be reused from now on, then we would have been, you know, happier about it. So it feels more like it's a development issue, like some hiccups that are causing this right now, rather than just being new guns. Because I feel like if it was just simply there's too many guns, they would have planned it out better for the whole of the year, rather than just have all the new weapons in season one. So that's what bugs me. Now, going forward, it is a bit of a problem, I think, that we are not even halfway and we might now get reused guns for say the next five or six years that would not be great now of course i expect there will be new guns popping up 
in the odd season from now on. And of course, this is a computer game, so they don't have to go out and license real weapons. And eventually, of course, they will run out of real guns. They can make fictional weapons, something that's different, futuristic, crazy, uh, or even go with stuff that really is out there, like tactical double barrel shotguns that you can arm with different uh, ammunition types in each barrel and stuff like that. There's still a lot of variation. They could even reuse weapons so they don't have to worry about cosmetics, but give them different ammunition types. So for instance, we could have incendiary rounds. You know, we've seen a lot of fire effects added into the game. So we could have some sort of incendiary round that if you hit the enemy, does a little bit of damage over time, but maybe the initial hit is less damage. So there's still variations you can do on even just the current guns. And of course they are doing something great right now, which is adding more and more attachments to weapons that didn't have that before. So it gives us more choice, which is always great as well. So, you know, different ammo types could be another option. We could have different operators with the same gun, but maybe one of them has extended magazine, one of them has a less capacity magazine. Yeah, you know, maybe someone's kind of, you know, that operator has done like tweaks to their weapon to slightly modify it in some way, you know, tie into the backstory of this character and all that. But what worries me is we've hit this reuse weapons point halfway through the development of Rainbow Six Siege and it was a surprise to us as players, we didn't see it coming, but it also seems to be a surprise to the developers because they could have planned better for it. So that's what really kind of worries me. And it doesn't help that this all happened at the same time we got Phantom Sight, which had really simple gadgets. Now I think with the new season with Amaru and Goyu that has picked up and Burnt Horizon was also the same, it was a really interesting season. Even though the gadgets are relatively simple, they are complex enough to be quite interesting to use and to really get your brain going. Whereas Phantom Sight was a little bit more drab overall when it came to the gadgets and of course that was the first season we got fully reused weapons. So all that happening at the same time was like a perfect storm of disappointment for the player base and might have made it a bit of a deal breaker for a lot of people and I'm interested in your guys opinion on this is the reused weapons for the next five six years is that a deal breaker even if we do obviously get some new weapons in that along the way. Another part of that perfect storm I think is also the announcement of a battle pass because we had the seasonal reveal and we're like here to go here's our new operators they're going to have reused weapons and then also, we're making a battle pass to make more money. It's like, oh, you know, not the perfect timing to get all that announced. Um, yeah, it could have been done a lot better. I do worry about the future when it comes to recycled guns because, like, if I look at Mozzie, Mozzie to me, I've gotten to the place with him where I'm getting really good with these drones and capturing drones. And that's awesome. But there's that spark when I'm playing him and I'm using the Ronnie that I just love that combination of his gadget and his really nice gun and this is the thing sometimes those weapons are a big part of an operator and it's odd to think about that you know because you have these like complicated gadgets but sometimes it really comes down to the gun and you can see that with like ash you know she lost an acog on one of her guns so she still had an acog on another gun but people were so disappointed that a big chunk of them just stopped playing as ash because of that or even quit the game entirely so a really good fun gun and this is the other thing about new seasons is having like six new guns for like the burnt horizon season because once you lock into a loadout with a new operator you're going to use potentially half or less than half of that loadout and you're not really going to switch it up much at all so adding a few reused guns into a loadout with new guns to me isn't a bad thing just to prolong the amount of time we can get new weaponry now a lot of people might not like that and this is what I would love to hear in the comments below because, like I say, my opinion is not any more valuable than your guys' opinion. And I'm very curious to what you think is the red line. When it comes to reused weapons, and also what is it that actually gives our Rainbow Six Siege season that special spark that just makes it so exciting to, you know, so much hype to wait for and then you get hold of it and you love it. What is it that actually, you know, you're looking for when a new season comes out? Anyway guys, that's my two cents. I would love to know what you think in the comments below and I will catch you next time.